I uh, also need to just check the right collar on the left collar, wherever it is. Do, 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 do. There it is. And there's some more influences there. So, influences appear in white. Essentially, that's it. Let's get rid of that tool, but oh, my eyes are funky. Um, but this is the process you have to go through in order to get this to be like 100%. So in places like the leg, you would come in and start painting. So if I go um, way on the keyboard, it should repeat the last tool. Let's look at the leg. So left up leg, and sort of around this area here. Depending on how many vertices you got, just going to hold B and shrink the selection. I'm just going to paint hard selections on here so very very like 100 percent lower and I'm just going to do the same here because it's going to clip through itself but this is kind of typical but what you get is a much better maintenance of volume as opposed to what it was before and I go up and look at the arms just quickly so scrolling through my list, look for left arm and just minimizing holding down B, changing the brush size. So you need to adjust it so you can select correctly the right or paint the right uh, vertices and upper arm. So this can be quite a painful process and takes a lot of time and this is basically the essentials of it so around the back here I'm just going to do an add operation now and add a little bit so I'm just going to it's all in the aid of maintaining volume I think for this uh, mesh though I needed to paint more detail I mean, not paint, uh, basically, put in more detail and in my geometry because there's not enough to really do what I want to do. This is the basics of painting, though. So, if I go to my controllers again, switch them on. Just going to bend this foot a bit. So, and reset the key, and hitting one on the keyboard can go back, and I'm going to go to my foot. Uh, this one I'm just going to paint hard values on again. So, so I'm going to go replace, and just the size of that. Crack up the opacity again, I'm playing around with the wrong bloody controllers. And just paint it like so. So this is a laborious job, and it's not generally my most favourite thing to do, but it has to be done. So this can can happen continuous over a, a project lifetime, essentially. Okay, and I've got the toe, which I'll just look at. Paint that hard as well. Uh, you can add a toe controller at some stage to be able to 
Effect the toe walk. Essentially, that's it. Let's close that and go back to the first frame. Now, you don't have to do both sides of the model. You don't have to paint this on both sides. We can take advantage of the fact that we have a mirror operation for skin weights as well. So if we go to skin weights, actually, I'll just show you what I mean. So if I grab both legs here and I'll just move it up like so. You can see some differences. It's kind of hard to tell, but there is significant differences between the left and right legs around here. We can select our mesh, and we can go skin. We can go edit smooth skins, and we can do what's called a mirror skin weights option. So just go to the option box here and see what's going on. So we want to mirror across the YZ. For the plane, we want to mirror across. You see Y up, and Z being forward. It means we're going to mirror across like this. So we have positive to negative. So this is plus. This is negative. So positive to negative is correct. So then we just go a mirror. And that will mirror our weights from left to right. And that means when we're painting skin weights, we only have to deal with painting one side of the body. Alright, so this is the basic rig setup. The next tutorial I'll look at taking some more advanced setup on this guy. Uh, in particular finishing off the IK spline and setting up polar uh, controllers so you can prevent the arm folding in on itself like so. Uh, but essentially that's it. This will get you going and if you can sort of achieve this in this tutorial you should have something pretty good going on. Okay, so yeah, thanks very much for listening to this tutorial.